Hey everyone, and welcome to a new, hopefully series, called Engines of Somewhere Wales. Now before you say it, yes, this is based off Amtrak I-365 and Thunderbolt 1000 Siren Productions, Engines of Amtrak and Engines of Scepter. However, instead of talking about engines from US and Philly, I will be talking about fictional Roblox trains! Today we'll start out with the most iconic engine in-game, Big Iron. While we go along, I'll explain how the series works, and if enough of you like it, I might continue it. Anyway, let's get started. In the early 1910s, the Summer Wales Railway was quite busy moving coal up and down the line from the old mines to the port. This put a lot of stress on the railway's two locomotives at the time, who were Tram and Stonemason. During this time, the railway would order a locomotive from Wexford, Ireland named Big Iron. He was the 48th member in the Irish manufacturer's G-Class and was built and delivered in 1915. Big Iron is an 040 tank engine, meaning he has zero pilot wheels, four driving wheels, and no trailing wheels. His total length is about 10 to 15 feet long and 5 to 6 feet wide. He weighs about 7 to 8 tons with a max speed of 35 studs per second, which is roughly 21 to 22 miles per hour, with a horsepower rating of about 193, with tractive effort of 3,290 pounds per square force. Big Iron is equipped with a smaller high pitched whistle made of brass. Here's some samples of his voice. <laughs> Big Iron would run on the railway for a good few decades hauling coal from the old mines to the port and eventually from then coal mines to the port. During that time, other locomotives would be purchased and brought to the railway along with the selling off or scrapping of other engines. Big Iron would have a pretty uneventful career during these years. Unfortunately, after the end of World War II, Denco Mines and the railway would suffer financial losses, causing Denco Mines to cease shipping their coal by rail and move over to trucks. In 1952, Big Iron would be sold off to another railway due to the railway's horrible financial situation, and soon, after the limestone quarry closed, the railway would follow suit shortly afterwards. It is unknown what the fate of Big Iron is after being sold off to the other railway, as no real information exists as of now, but we can be assumed that he most likely survived in the preservation. Now here comes the more interesting section of this video. In this section, I'll be talking about the in-game history of Big Iron and the Roblox game Summer Wales. Big Iron was originally created in early 2018 with a prototype being built in that same year. Unlike the current model, the prototype was green instead of blue and resembled a mishmash of Big Iron, Gilbert, and Gametes. This one would not be called Big Iron though, and remains unnamed to this day. His second prototype would be created during the early development of Summer Wales and would be called Jacob. Not much is known about Jacob as no photos have surfaced as of the making of this video. His third version would be created sometime before the official release of Summer Wales and would be released on the 5th of February 2019 along with Hampton's Wreck. When he was originally released, he had massive wheel slip issues similar to the joke model of Texas Red, but this would be remedied on January 25th, 2020. His model would be updated yet again on August 6, 2021 at a new feature such as opening doors, sandboxes, and more. Big Iron can be found at the Andreas Shed next to Gary and Gilbert. As of now, Big Iron can still be seen running up and down the main line between Andreas and Kitts, hauling both passenger and cargo, and he'll continue to run for many years to come. Now, this is a part of the video where things get a bit complicated. Due to Big Iron being a mostly freelance design, it's quite unknown what he might be based off. Members in the community, such as myself, have brought some ideas on what his basis could be, but be warned, these are just speculation and they're not official. The first engine which Big Iron might be based off is the Tally Clean Railway No. 6 Douglas, who shares a similar shape to Big Iron with the cab and general boiler shape. However, Douglas is slightly bigger and longer than Big Iron, and both look quite different, so overall I'd say that the only thing that Big Iron really resembles is probably the cab. 
A more popular contender for his bases is his great Ofro Decaville well tank number 8069 named Tabamar, who can be seen running on the Chemin de Fer de Chantereines in Paris, France. I'm sorry if I butchered that. Tabamar is more similar to Big Iron as they seem to be a much more similar size and having more similar features, but they do like the side cold bunkers and sandboxes found on Big Iron. Overall, Big Iron is really a big mishmash of different locomotive classes and we may never figure out which one is his main basis, but we can still speculate and guess. Well, that's about it for this first episode of Engines of Some War Wales. Thank you all so much for watching this through to the end. I know I really don't do this kind of commentary videos much, but if you guys like this video enough, then make sure to click that like button and subscribe. Currently, only 5.8 of viewers subscribe, so if you could please subscribe, it means so much to me if we could hit 1,000 subs this year, because if we do, then I could potentially do this for a living, and I'll make a special thank you video for you guys. So again, if you're not subscribed, then subscribe. Anyway, that's about all I have time for. Tune in next time for episode 2, where I'll talk about the tender engine herself, Elmira. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon.